back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What go on, my people? Hope everybody you know okay. Hope everybody you know right. A ward at the South Camp Juvenile Correction and Remand Center in St. Andrew is now hospitalized after attempting suicide. The girl was found hanging sometime after 5 p.m. People know where in the self. May I will keep on a post it on that. Because I see Indy come down the board and investigate. I want to know where they investigate. Say. You know, see how she tie herself and put herself up there. Anyway, me take a walk by a climb down now, people. Police doing what police do best. Stupidness. Listen now, people. The police in Clarendon are reporting that a man has been taken in custody in relation to the abduction and rape of a 12-year-old girl. He was apprehended on Sunday and is to face an identification parade. Last Friday, the little girl was on her way home from school with her sibling when a man offered them a ride. People, telling the children, don't take ride from nobody. No take no ride from nobody. Walk on the yard. You understand if you don't care for the bus fare, the taxi fare. When they reach their destination, he told them to come out the car and drove off with her. A relative told her new steam. The child was reportedly released in a community near her home late Friday evening. She was subsequently taken to the hospital for treatment. I want to really tell Mr. Dutch to pick up this boy. Then I don't make no sense, you know. The waste of time ties for us again, people. Continue its gun gangs and gangs initiative with two separate operations that led to the seizure of an illegal firearm and holy ammunition. In the first operation, the police set one 9mm pistol along with a magazine containing three 9mm rounds or recover during a snap raid in Independent City, Portmore, in St. Catherine. One man, yes, people, one man who the gun belonged to has been arrested and charged in relation to the seizure. Waste of the waste of the time, arrest the money and charge him. Look at him and say, Yes, man, I'm getting this count and come back out, come do the same thing. You know, the second incident with Town Westmoreland, I don't need to talk about that again. Come me on the talk about that yesterday, so I can move on with the news. We're going to a little Jezebel now. A woman who was charged with creating public mischief after the police said she falsely claimed that she was raped last year was given two year probation in St. Anne's Parish Court last Friday. The woman's identity is being withheld due to the nature of the case. She had pled guilty to charge charges prior to her sentence before senior parish judge Michelle Salmon. Hollande, who should have sent her come at town, make a charge her. Who no should have sent her come at town, make a town judge charge her like a Lorian Coleman to kill them people here, yeah, man. Come in short. They made us still have Paris some years. Yes, man. Like hard labor. I don't know if hard labor is still around there still. But they made us still have Paris sometime. Because this is like a Jezebel at all lie. Me did tell her, so she didn't tell her, you know. From she come out, come so she didn't get raped. Me did say, yo. This a girl that tell lie. But no fan never did believe me. See it come to pass then now. I'm not even worried no more that the story. The story doesn't make no sense. But this a story. I need it of a year. 93 in 83. Then people. You know, say people that big and kill this and that shit in three points. Day in, day out. The Road Safety Union and the Ministry of Transport reported that 93 people have been killed in 83 fatal crashes since the start of the year. In a release, the ministry said... Fatalities and fatal crashes has increased by 7% and 1% respectively when compared to the similar period in 2021. Fatal crashes and fatalities that account for 13 and 14 persons respectively during curfew hours since the start of the year. Me all yes, no, no, no. What's the number of curfew and don't stupid this out there? And I got dead. And guess what? Me I got read both to know. Fatality during curfew hours account for 15% of the total fatalities since the start of the year. In the meantime, fatal crashes and fatality during the hours has decreased by 28% and 36% when compared to the similar period for 2021. Fatalities for 2022 are projected to decrease by 8% when compared with 2021. It is said that pedestrians accounted for 24% of road users killed since the start of the year. Private motor vehicle drivers account for 23% of road users killed since the start of the year. Private motor vehicle passenger account for 11% of road users killed since the start of the year. Paper till I give them three points. One whole heap of people till the panel that give them three points because they want the stupidness. But when you can't continue driving past 
continue to drive fast because I have a space on this platform. Me, I'm going to make sure I like to look up in this. Anyway, Sleepy has something to tell you now. Minister of Sleeping, Dr. Oray Sleepy Chang, on Tuesday disclosed that the removal of ministerial responsibility to examine recommendation of the Firearm Licensing Authority FLA Review Board on gun licensing has been a policy since 2017. I'm going to make him tell you no, all of this for yourself because I don't want to know feel like say. I just make me a make up story. He actually wake up and still a chat nonsense people. Listen to him now. We found it inappropriate that policy unit within the ministry should be asked to review the work of a panel headed by a no lesser person and a former president of the Court of Appeal, supported by a former senior deputy director of prosecution and a retired senior police officer. In fact, we find the character of the chairman of this panel to be unimpeachable and beyond reproach. As a result, the findings and recommendations of the board are accepted as recommended. In addition to that, we are the 90 day period for the review board to consider an application as passed. I do not intervene, but may ask to recommend where there is a genuine case through the chief executive officer of the authority to take an early look at such an appeal. I do not exercise any discretion to examine an appeal delayed beyond 90 days. In 2017, Major General Anthony Anderson, former chairman of the board of the FLA, introduced a system where only board members who attend the meetings are allowed to sign off on applications and reports should be signed by all board members attending. Greater relationship with the National Intelligence Bureau and other intelligence agencies established as the FLA moved towards a more system check for the security clearance of applicants. The board no longer reversed its own decisions or that of a previous board. The board no longer considers applications unless all security clearances are attached to the files. Discontinuation of the practice where staff members of the FLA or the third parties sign for or collect packages on behalf of applicants or holders. And let me just add that with respect to ministers operating on a recommendation of the Firearm Review Board, I endorse that 100%, and it is consistent with how I behaved, particularly in the two cases raised in the Integrity Commission's report. And it is curious that they made no reference to the report or recommendations of the Firearm Review Board in those cases. We have made a range with the FLA to take steps to clear out the backlog. Um, we have had several steps, in fact, back in 2020, I think it was, and the requested by ministry, I don't know if it was carried out, that they should send back all the files older than two years old and ask the members to reapply because it was pointless keeping them. In any case, they can reapply after two years. The others are going to review, and um, we have made one attempt at doing it. We got to a fair number, but we are doing a second round, which I expect will to have all backlog cleared by the time this bill is ready. That way that is concerned. People can tell you something now. Me always call a spade a spade. Me not see the difference between a guard and a Tivoli garden that we go and a rubbish headquarters. Me not see no difference in that. Me see them go so boom and say them a keep present birthday party. And me see whole heap of people I'm here. One whole heap of corroches I'm here. One whole heap of nice. I'm here. One whole heap of shot and all of this. And then me go so boom. I'm a matter of fact, I can show you how to do I can play the audio. Tell now, people, you can see clearly the Jamaica endorse the badness culture. That is all we endorse that is the island. Only you can keep by them and make one heap of nice, yes. And I guarantee if the police thing reach in there, I hear a coof, 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 and boof, puff, puff, and then beat up some people. A different thing in the year in the morning, but you know, you want to talk about that still. Me, I talk about them without the mass in a picture. A huddle up. The only person of our one mass for me can see. It's Bobsy, and I don't know if it's because Bobsy up in her age and she know whatever I go around with them, said it I go around, but it not play no more. Catch her. People, I want to see them charge one more person who don't have a mask and then we and them have it out. But people, go and kick back and relax because we have more things in the news.